Hey folks, Mike here with The Quality Sportsman, and today we're checking out the Athlon Cronus BTR Gen 2 UHD. While that's a mouthful, I've really enjoyed shooting this rifle scope over the past couple of months for a few competitions on my gas gun and my bolt gun. Uh, so I wanna tell you about it. Let's check it out. Hey folks, before we get into it, I'd ask that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That will help me grow the channel and bring you better content each week. Thanks. All right, folks. Well, I uh, got my hands on this scope. I was really interested to check out the quality of Athlon Optics. Uh, I hadn't heard of them until I was doing some research earlier this year. Um, you know, most of the people that I shoot with are shooting Night Forces or Vortex or Leopolds. And I thought, let me try something new. Um, the one thing that really, uh, got my attention on this rifle scope was the price point. To me, it's almost kind of in its own class uh, at that $2,000 price point. And they give a very sizable military law enforcement discount, which brought it uh, you know, uh, down uh, even further and made it really attractive from a price point perspective. Um, and guys, let me tell you, I've been running this rifle scope for a few months now. I got a few thousand rounds on it on this gas gun. Uh, you know, this is a work in progress, uh, still undergoing maintenance. Forgive the, uh, you know, naked barrel here. Um, been running it on this uh, six millimeter max gas gun. I ran it on my 6.5 Grendel for a DMR match that I shot back in February. And I'm running it on my six millimeter Creedmoor that I'm using to train up for an upcoming PRS match here uh, next month. Um, let me tell you what I like about it. Uh, very simple, I'm not gonna go super into the weeds. Um, I think you'll, you'll see a lot of the rifle scopes today in this price range kind of all have the same features. Um, so to me, it's almost more about clarity of glass, um, how those features actually pan out together. Are, are they, do I feel like they're on par with everybody else? and uh, the warranty, which is really important. Um, so first, let's cover the warranty. Athlon uh, is offering a lifetime no questions asked warranty, which is really important to me. Um, I run my gear hard. Uh, I'm probably going to break this at some point in my life, uh, and I wanna make sure I can get a replacement when I do that. So they got that. Um, so that's checked off in my book. Um, this scope has all of these standard higher end features. It has a very nice tactile dialing turrets. Um, it has a parallax knob on the left-hand side. Um, it is an illuminated reticle, but I haven't used it yet. I haven't really seen the need to use it. Um, and I kind of don't want to get into having to turn it off, turn it on, and uh, make sure I have batteries uh, when I'm you know, s focusing on so much else for the match. Um, let's see, it is a uh, four and a half to 29 by 56. Um, while that's kind of a wonky magnification range, I think that this glass is so clear, I rarely shoot over 10 to 12 uh, magnification. Um, I think in my last DMR match, uh, it was a quantified performance match in West Virginia. I think maybe I took it up to 15 power uh, for the 817 yard engagements. Uh, came in third on that stage out of everybody, by the way, which I was really proud of. Um, and uh, I was still able to spot my own shots. Um, I actually had a big dope issue that whole match. I had the wrong BC in for my bullet and I couldn't figure out which input was wrong. Um, and I was, you know, four tenths to five tenths mils low out to 800 yards, but I could see exactly the splash of that round to get my rounds on target quickly enough to uh, where I could still place third out of like 70 people on that one stage. Um, so hopefully that's an indicator that this glass is, you know, pretty clear. Um, to, to me, it's, it's hard to evaluate clarity. So when I say it's clear, uh, I can shoot in low light conditions um, and I feel like I don't have to way overdo it with the magnification. Um, you know, I can shoot on 10 power and 12 power when I'm shooting five, six, 700 yards. I can spot my shots. I can spot the splash if I'm not hitting the target things like that. Um, I do shoot in low light a lot as I often take off to the range after work and I'm trying to zero or do something before sunset um, and the glass serves me really well. Uh, in fact, sometimes I'm shooting and I don't even realize how dark it's getting um, it, you know, until I need a flashlight to pick up my brass. 
Again, it's got all the standard features. The zero stop is really nice. Um, you loosen this uh, top cap with an Allen key, um, and then you can, oops, and then you can, uh, you know, lift up and put the zero back down to where you're currently zeroed, uh, resetting your zero exactly at the, you know, zero mil elevation mark. The reticle, to me, I really like it. It's super simple. Um, it gives me enough to be able to hold uh, all of my windage and uh, elevation. I don't dial for these DMR matches because they're so quick from target to target. There's not really time to dial. Um, but I also like the tactile clicks for the bolt gun uh, if I do have to dial. So um, I think it's great. I think this is the right mix of all the features with a really high quality of glass made in Japan. Uh, it's not Chinese junk. Um, and I love it. I really can highly recommend this to folks. I think the price point kind of puts it in its own tier. There's not too many other rifle scopes in that $2,000 range. And I feel like this is the perfect mix of quality and uh, cost. So, so this is something that I definitely recommend. I'm gonna continue to run these on both guns, uh, both competition guns all year. Um, and I can definitely put the quality sportsman stamp of approval on this. Uh, again, if you are military or law enforcement, make sure you're going ahead and getting that discount from them. They're nice uh, to offer that discount. Um, so that's it. Really quick and simple review. Um, I do like this glass. I've been shooting it a lot and I feel like uh, it is not a limiting factor. I feel like it is empowering me to be a better shooter and that's really important. That's the experience I'm looking for when I uh, spend my hard-earned money on a product like this. So uh, that's it for now. I hope if you get a chance to shoot one um, that you think the same. Uh, I think this is a really piece of quality equipment and now I'm interested to check out and see what other optics Athlon has out there. Um, so uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're doing some giveaways of rifle scopes and things like that, and I don't want you to miss it. Uh, thanks for all of the positive feedback so far and helping me to grow the channel. Uh, it's been really uh, motivating to keep this going. Uh, that's it for now. If you get a chance to check this out, I hope you like it as much as I do, uh, and we'll see you next time on The Quality Sportsman. Take care.